Hello everybody, good morning and good day. Whenever you're watching this video, it is time for our week on compassion, self-compassion, and how I deeply believe this is going to be the linchpin in so many of your, and I know it was in my own recovery from body image obsession, restricting, binging, um, compulsive overexercise. So this is Tracy Brown, your somatic dietitian and a tuning specialist, and let's just get started. All right, so self-compassion is something. Good morning, everybody who's here live. I love you, appreciate you for being here. Um, it's an honor always to be with you. And so um, let's just get started. I don't think many of us grew up, I'm gonna do a little summary here real quick. I don't think too many of us grew up with um, a lot of self-compassion or knowing how to, when you make a mistake or you're, um, not make a mistake, but when something, uh, gosh, didn't go our way or whatever it is to, to be able to kind of roll with it um, and learn versus other and wrong ourselves, if that makes sense. So it is vital in, you know, it's almost like we kind of take that critical, um, that inner critic loudness, that um, perfectionism, that all or nothing thinking, um, that feeling that we got to either we're got to get this right and we got to get it right yesterday or we're going to be in trouble those kind of feel like the underlying stews a lot of times in our um, the way we approach attuned eating the way we approach being neutral about our bodies and what they look like we are looking for a finish line and so when we don't have the best day or we recognize ooh I'm not quite as um, loving towards my own body or others as I thought I was. And, and we tend to have some shame or guilt about that. And, and of course, that's a feeling that comes up. It's okay. It's, oh, and this is what self-compassion, self-compassion, I believe, is, is an action. It's not necessarily like a feeling. Um, and I could be wrong. I'm not a total expert. I'm just going by experience and reading and, and just working with, you know, hundreds and hundreds of people. It's, it's more about am I willing and able to, um, let's say that I have um, a goal to eat regularly, to not skip me meals, to not go too far, and I do that some of the week, and then some of the week I don't, and I, there may be some, um, I want to use the consequences, I don't use the word, it's not dire consequences, but it's like, you know, when I left my, when I left my snack, I recognized I got too hungry, which made me obsessive. Yeah, I think self-compassion is a practice, definitely. Um, when I XYZ'd with my food, XYZ happened that it wasn't ideal. And if we can have compassion, well, of course. You know, of course I would have like eaten past more comfortable fullness because I missed my snacks today that I typically, I kind of know that worked for me, but I didn't quite do it. Um, of course, I might get kind of overfull. It gets really hard to put the brakes on when you physiologically are at a deficit. That's self-compassion. And it's a, kind of a, yeah, I know it's thinking, you're having these thoughts, you're having this gentleness and the softness about it with yourself, but it's also an action. You're choosing to say and, and to look for um, this outcome happened because of this, and I didn't pack my snacks because of that. So it's not because I'm a lazy, bad, wrong, don't know enough person. It's, gosh, you know, I am going really fast. And when I go really fast, I'm usually going really fast because I'm pretty rubbed up because I am, I'm scared. And so and you, if you work it all the way back, you can say, oh, well, it's kind of hard to hate myself for being scared. That's essentially what's going on. And that can apply to anything, whether it's looking in the mirror and bashing yourself, whether it's if you if you binged or if you kind of just deprivation over eight or you know, like this is the only tool I had to feel any way of settling or comfort whatsoever it, it's almost like making that decision that hatred probably isn't going to change that need for comfort so hmm can I work on and through how I can reach for a different kind of comfort and and that's it and that 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 happens because of self-compassion. So we're gonna talk more deeply. I would love to hear about some of your individual circumstances. If you feel called to do it, if you feel comfortable, you don't have to put it here, you can if you want to. 
but you could also just private message me and I can answer it anonymously around the idea um, of what's the right word of recognizing that you know if we have some rigidity around our food if we have some body bashing it's well of course that probably serves something or of course I've learned to only see one body type and size and texture and shape as acceptable because I needed that either got in me by osmosis because of the culture we live in, that's the way I was raised, that is what actually at one time helped me feel more acceptable in an environment that I didn't know how to navigate. But now I have some new tools and now I can and I need to put self-compassion to practice when I start to choose a way of looking at my body. Um, that's, that's not so narrow, essentially. So we're gonna talk a lot about that. And I think I wanna do that on Wednesday maybe if y'all are interested is to talk more about self-compassion towards the body. And not just about, we're gonna talk about health because you know, in this journey of life, we don't always have great health sometimes. And sometimes we feel bad and sometimes there's nothing we can do about that but to be in it because nothing's gonna fix it fast. We could talk about that and I think we should also talk about, if you're interested, let me know if not, just the aesthetic of having compassion, self-compassion for, um, you know, it's not just about, I don't know how to word this, but it's like when we have a stance of like all, like I look at these trees in front of me, and I've talked about this a lot in videos. It's like I right now I see in front of me hmm, two or three different kinds of palm trees, and I see an oak tree, and all kinds of various shrubbery here out in front of me. And I don't know if the right word is compassion for that, but like I have understanding that like, no matter what, these the, the trees are all soaking nutrients from the same soil here in front of me, and they all look different. And so there is some understanding that, like, we're not all going to look the same. So how can we have compassion for the part of ourselves that needed to believe otherwise just to get along and to survive? And now knowing that, like, hmm, I'm going to have, have to have compassion for this body that I really abandoned for a while, and I'm not going to do that anymore. So... I hope this video was fruitful and helpful for you. Um, let me know in, below if you thought if you thought it was a good start to the week. And if you need something different, please let me know. And share this with people you know that like have never, never heard this message. Have not heard this message of like, we do things with our food for a really darn good reason. And if we can have compassion for it when it doesn't seem all that settled yet or peaceful, or the way we want it even. Can we have some self-compassion that we're still learning that it's an action versus if I didn't get something right and that I got an outcome I didn't want, that doesn't mean I'm a screw up. It just means, ah, there's something here for me more to see. And it's, it's really radically brave and, and courageous and patient to be compassionate with something that isn't quite the way you want it yet and knowing that like you could choose a different way you could go ahead and restrict and diet um, but it's not really gonna get you more compassion it's just gonna get you more of what you are used to which is like well maybe I can get a smaller body and maybe I can have some distraction from that but I really don't have more compassion so thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to y'all on Wednesday and in between there'll be some other posts too to kind of be journaling on and thinking about and um, you know, working on our journey. So thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye.